Hello, everyone. I am Dr. Eric Morrison. This is 7 out of 3, and I'll be covering trading education, more specifically Forex trading, using the TC2000 and TradingView platforms. Hello, this is the Stock Indice Review for the week of the 11th of August. August. I'll start off with the VIX. As you can see here, we had some incredible volatility. It started here around the 7th of July and then peaked back up again. Everything is above the RL270. We'll see if we have continued volatility for, for next week as the Fed begins to buy back, sell the debt. Looking at the 20 year, look at continued price action to the downside, significant price action to the downside. Looking at natural gas, we did have a complete uptick reversal on this BB squeeze breakout and we'll see if this is a head fake for continued price action to the downside two year also is going to the downside dollar is continuing to go up going to come up against this point figure consolidation area and the 200 converging so we'll see if it breaks out of that and goes goes up to the next z3 z3 excursion if it breaks out to the upside the markets will go down five year also breaking down to the downside with a nice potential profit on joining the bonds or the five year to the z3 z3 excursion same for the 10 year which is almost at the z3 excursion here and has continued liquidity down to this second z3 gold also going down has now hit point figure support level is converging on the 200 we might have a breakout to the upside with this z3 excursion 200 and point figure all converging in one actual area if it breaks down below that we have this z3 excursion and z3 here for continued pressure to the downside for gold russell also to the downside we have significant price action down to the rl270 at 1856 s p 500 also has to the, the rl270 at 43.53 to the downside. NASDAQ as well. We got the RL270 below the Z3 at this point at 14.714 to the downside. The Dow is back up against the resistance zone between the RL90. We do have a Z3 at 34.578 and continued price action to the downside. The support levels at the 200 and Z3 excursion in the point figure. Starting with Burt's overall week, which is FANG leveraged. Basically, the Magnificent 7 is starting to break down. That's a $720 gain on 1,000 shares. Biddy also gained a small portion at $40. Bank D trading above the Dragon, but kind of consolidating here against the Z3 excursion, the loss of $460. Boyle, incredible gains to the upside, $3,450 on 1,000 shares. Cure, nice overall gain of $950, 1,000 shares. Defense, consolidating right around the dragon between the 200 and 270 loss of 450 dollars on a thousand shares dpst absolutely incredible gain 2080 dollars on monday and then can broke down below the dragon drv incredible consolidations to the downside overall loss of 2470 dollars on a thousand shares right between the dragon and the rl270 boys for a potential breakout dust also consolidating here between the 200 and the dragon overall loss of 360 dollars on a thousand shares fast consolidating above the dragon however we did eke out a 260 dollar gain on thursday and then gave it back on friday fngd fantastic gains Throughout the week at $881.50, 1,000 shares. GDXD, overall consolidation against this major resistance level. And as you can see, it bounced right off of it. Getting a squeeze poised to the upside, which means could, we could have pressure if it doesn't get below the dragon for gold to go down and the miners to go down too as well. A loss of $160 on 1,000 shares. GLL, continued price action to the upside, has broken up the 200 and is now up against this major resistance level at a $476 gain on shorting gold. Gush at a $1,910 loss that over the course of the entire week this gap down did not take this trade however this gave us our overall losses for the week hibs overall gain sixty dollars jtsd consolidating between the dragon and the 200 starting to break down here so there could be some more upside to the gold on the miners we'll see this is a head fake loss 130 dollars on a thousand shares lab d incredible gain on monday did not take this gain this overall trade above the z3 this is trade i did take though on thursday 
Overall gain 1,008 on 1,000 shares. Success, beautiful gains to the upside. We got the Z3 excursion up here. Nice gains of $1,220 on 1,000 shares. SPXS consolidating, kind of going and moving up to the RL270. Overall loss $150. On this consolidation. Same with S SPXU, pretty much the same. S triple Q, overall gain of $865 on a 1,000 shares. Wonderful gains here and here. SRS, overall loss on this consolidation. Did break up above the 200, then came back down up against the drag, and we have the 200 and the RL270 here as major resistance. SRTY, consolidating overall for the week with a loss of $220. TVF, overall loss of $20. TVT, Break even. TVX over a loss of $20. This is for all the bonds pretty much. Tech S did a wonderful job to the upside. $1,060 on 1,000 shares. Triple T overall loss $130 on this consolidation. TYO is the only one with an overall gain here on Friday with $40 out of all the bonds. TZA overall loss $100 over this consolidation. Yuko, over all of these, Thursday took out the majority of the profits. Overall gain, $70 for the week. Uvixi, diff very difficult trading here, as you can see. Massive consolidation here and volatility to the up and downside. Loss of $2,400 on 1,000 shares. WebS to the upside, also consolidating, but has broken the RL270 to the upside. See for more price action to the upside. $250 gain. And lastly, ZSL or shorting silver. Wonderful gains to the upside. Overall, $810 on 1,000 shares. Overall gains for the week, however, beginning of the week, Monday through Friday, nice overall gains. About $9,000 then gave back on Thursday and Friday, about five k Overall for the week, $4,600 on 1,000 shares. Looks like the overall world markets are also consolidating too as well. You can see China, the major drop on Friday to the downside. And we have a profit target of to the downside of 12,624. Euro also consolidating. France as well. Hong Kong also on the way down. No profit target. Japanese yen to the upside, 33,478. All the way up here by the Z3, Z3 excursion. We'll see if that comes to fruition. Netherlands also consolidating. Singapore, Taiwan breaking down. Overall target of 615 to the downside. Well, this double top and overall head and shoulders formation, you could see a lot of more semiconductor pressure to the downside. And the UK also as well. And with this head and shoulders, could have more price action to the downside for the overall world markets. Bitcoin struggling here a bit and continued with this head fake, more price action to the downside. And that's all I have, folks, for the stock industry review for the week of the 11th of August. We're currently conducting a foundations course, intermediate course, and an operations course for Forex futures and stock indices. If you're interested in also programming both in PyScript or Python and auto trading, click on the links below. And remember, ruthless risk management. Have a great weekend, everybody, and I'll see you on Monday. Well, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like rumble button below and the subscribe button. And if you want more information, go ahead and click the course information links below on the TradingView link and on TC2000. I have an affiliate link. If you open up a TC2000 account, you will receive a $25 discount using that link. Thank you for your time.